the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome each and every one of you to be with Jesus. We may be suffering from one of the sickness or maybe afflicted in one of the six areas of our life. Right now, some of us are going through crisis or tension or suffering from incurable diseases. Some of you think that there is no remedy and there is no hope to escape from this present situation. When God comes, the present situation will be changed into our favor praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord when we check the testimony session that we have received from five continents and from all nations and from all religious groups and from all the followers of all religions that accept that dead are being raised up rest of the miracles already happened in the humanity for the humanity irrespective of their caste creed and religion is it wonderful or not wonderful jesus is wonderful so everything happened in our life is going to be turned into wonderful event even the sad event and bad news that you and i have right now will be turned into good news because who is our good news jesus jesus is our good news good news to the whole world luke chapter 2 verse 10 luke chapter 2 verse 10 the angel said to them do not be afraid I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. Good news for all people around the world. What is that good news? Brother and sister, please tell me. Look into the blessed sacrament and tell me what is the good news that the angel declared to the whole world. Verse 11. Today, Right now in logo century a savior is born Amen. today to you is born in the city of David a savior who is messiah the lord that is today hallelujah hallelujah right now the lord jesus christ is exposed on this blessed sacrament you and i look to jesus and we trust in him let us say three times jesus i trust in you 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 let us say three times jesus i call on your name 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 when you and i say jesus 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 what is going to happen there miracles after miracles healings after healings changes after changes being happened romans chapter 10 verse 13 everyone from every religion from every group from every nation who calls on the name of jesus shall be Saved. shall be say praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah all these testimonies that we receive every day that the lord has done for these people show that this prophecy romans chapter 10 verse 13 is already fulfilled in the life of the people around the world hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so many of you are anxious right now so many of you are in tension but the lord says first peter 
Jesus tells you and to me anxious not anxious not cast your burden your anxiety your fear your cancer unto me Jesus says Peter said just put up on Jesus because he cares for you he loves you he cares for you why he has cared for you why he cares for you because he loves you a loving mother cares for her children am i right or wrong right the love is being manifested through our care praise the lord praise the, lord. the love of jesus is being manifested like right now through his care just leave your burden to jesus and also offer all your sufferings to the suffering of jesus nothing will be added to the suffering of jesus when we offer our sufferings to him because his suffering is full praise the lord praise the lord and that is for redemption of the humanity and forgiveness of sins and when we offer our sufferings we are freed and jesus will take it and add it to his suffering nothing is just increased in him but the same amount of suffering it will not increase or decrease and jesus will use it for salvation and healing of souls and sick people praise the lord praise the lord suppose you take a bottle of water that is a salty water you take it the salty water in a bottle 1 liter of salty water you could not drink it so pour out that water into the sea will that increase the sea level will it increase the sea level with one liter of salty water will it increase the saltiness of the sea will it make any difference but our can is empty and we are able to fill good water praise the lord praise the lord so empty yourself your burden your sickness your tears your sorrows to the ocean of the mercy of jesus and to the suffering of jesus and what is empty now the lord fills with living waters praise, praise the lord praise the because lord. the lord said for those who believe in me they will have an experience of overflowing of living waters when you give your cancer to jesus your cancer is gone jesus cannot be affected by cancer because he is resurrected but your cancer is absorbed by jesus because prophecy of isaiah chapter 8 verse 17 says he carried our sickness he carried our cancer he carried our tears and sorrows but if you and i are not giving to jesus he will not take it you should have a willingness to surrender to offer to consecrate praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. thank you jesus thank you jesus st matthew chapter 8 st matthew chapter 8 verse 17 this is to fulfill that the prophecy of isaiah is to be fulfilled that he carried our sickness and weakness right now the lord carries our sickness our diseases into his body amen. amen amen let us extend our hands like this dear brothers and sisters right now a lot of miracles are going to happen yes, sickness yes, are being healed yes, yes. your prayers are being answered yes. don't be depressed because yes, yes. the promises that we have heard cast yes, yes. your burden unto him he cares for you he is ready to take our infirmities into his body please please give it to him i love him love jesus thank christ you, jesus. to whom we have to love jesus peter do you love me more than others do peter said yes lord i do it john 21:16 the same question asking to you and me 
I am ready to heal you, my child. But are you ready to love me? Are you ready to love me? John twenty one, sixteen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, "What is his answer?" Let us say together, "Yes, Lord." Yes, Lord. Do you love Jesus Christ? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. You know that I love you. You yes, know that Lord. I love you. Jesus said to him, "Ten my sheep, you will have a mission now. You are not supposed to confined on your sick bed. You are not supposed to be crippled lifelong. You are not supposed to be blind lifelong. You are not supposed to be childless lifelong." You are not supposed to be cancerous life long. You are not supposed to have brain tumor life long. But right now, brother sister, Jesus ask you only one thing: Do you love me? Do you love me? What is our answer? Yes, Jesus. Loudly say, what is our answer? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Only that much? Only yes, Lord. I love you. I love you. Yes, Lord. You know that I. You know that I Love you, praise the Lord. Praise the Then Lord. Jesus says, "Be healed." Amen. Amen. 